Happy Sunday, all you indoor football fans. It is an... What the hell? What the hell is on me? Oh, it's just pasta sauce. Wait, wait, what is going on? This is on me. Um, yeah, happy Sunday, all you indoor football fans. It is another week of indoor football. We have reached the final week of the NAL regular season. That is correct. And first off, first things first, we know that the Albany Empire have locked up a home field advantage. So, Times Union Center is going to be rocking, you know, if uh, if the Empire get to the NAL Championship yet. If they get there. Because they beat up on Columbus this week, and I'm, I don't know what their final game is yet. Um, but we have a log jam at the bottom. Um, Columbus... You know, is sitting at two. Orlando's locked at three at the three position. But who will be that number four team? Who will be that number four team in the NAL playoffs? Because things got murky when Carolina beat Jacksonville and they beat them pretty bad. So now, um, with only you know one week left to go, who's going to be that final team? You know, because. All three teams that are fighting for the number four spot are two and five. Carolina's two and five. Jacksonville's two and five. And Jersey's two and five. But Jersey might have the best shot to do it to get to the playoffs because of Jacksonville losing. Um, I don't know what Jersey's game is this week. I'll have to look that up at some point. But note this that the um, things are getting interesting in the final week. It, it went down to the final week as expected for that final playoff spot. Let's move on over to the IFL right now, and things in the IFL are still, you know, we still need a press release. We still need a press release on, you know, how the playoffs are going to work. I don't know why there hasn't been a press release yet, but they're, they're said there was going to be one, but it shouldn't take this long for a press release to come. It should not have taken until the end of July for a press release to come. Better come real quick. Um, it's I mean, I'm not even going to lie to you. The United Bowl, probably being on September the 11th, is a huge L. It is an L in my eyes because there is no way, there is no way people are going to be coming to an indoor football game when, you know, unless it's like in Sioux Falls or, you know, Arizona, you know, ain't nobody coming to an indoor football game in September. Um, they're all at those college football stadiums and those NFL stadiums getting ready for NFL and college football Sundays. <laughs> but yeah, you know, still a log jam there for the IFL. You know, a big log jam from like f fourth place onward. You know, it's uh, very interesting to see, you know, how good it has been for the league this season, despite the fact that you know, there have been some big issues production-wise, behind-the-scenes-wise, same old, same old stuff, now that it's been playing in the IFO for years, you know. Um, I don't have anything from the CIF, don't have anything from the AAL, because there's nothing from those two leagues, and there won't be anything from those two leagues for hopefully a while, you know. Um, we do know that the... Um, the American Indoor Football Alliance. We do know that's a thing. We do know now that the Carolina Predators are moving to, I believe it was like Fayetteville, North Carolina or something like that. Let me look at that real quick. Let me look, take a look at that real quick. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, uh, yeah, Fayetteville. Yeah, Fayetteville, North Carolina at the Crowd Complex for 2022. And we don't know how many more teams the American Indoor Football Alliance is going to add. But we do know that is a thing. We also know the AWFC is still playing, but there's only one guy that's been keeping track of it, and it hasn't been me. It has not been me. Not me at all. If you join the 50-yard shitposting Discord, you will know. I don't have any links for that. Unfortunately, I don't think I can put links on YouTube like that. You know, unless it's like in the description or something like that. I don't feel like doing that in the comment section. But, the, but there's guys that are on this channel, that comment on this channel, that are members of the Discord. They'll give you a link. I'm not going to do that. Um, I don't have time. I don't have time. <laughs> I had time to get this video out. But, yeah. 
not trying to be giving out links and whatnot. Give me the sauce. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, honestly. You know, um, uh, yeah, I mean, the IFL's got their thing going on. There was the stadium game of the week being put on YouTube, but I believe that game was behind a couple of minutes, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, you know, aside from that, hopefully we don't get any more Columbus. Well, actually, we are going to get one more Columbus home game. God. God, Columbus's production is terrible. I mean, the Lions have got to be ashamed of themselves. Biggest game of the year, and you put at a production like that. No scoreboard. Scoreboard. The scoreboard did appear. It didn't work. But then you had to go to the arena scoreboard to get it. You know, to get things. You know, nice and smooth. It is what it is. It's the NAL for you. It's the NAL. You know, it is what it is. It's the same NAL that put a team. Tried to put a team out in California. Tried to add Louisville, where the IFL took that risk on and failed that miserably. Um, yeah, same old, same old indoor football. Same old, same old indoor football. I, I cannot believe what I'm saying, as usual. <laughs> but I don't think there's anything else, you know. Um, yeah, I'll have to try and keep track of the AWFC, at least talk about them for some, for like five seconds at least. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I gotta say. Y'all have a good week. We do have one more video coming. It's coming later this week, probably tomorrow, actually, I think. Yeah, I don't know, but I'll, I'll see. I'll have to see, you know, what transpires there. Because it's a lot of interesting stuff that I want to share with y'all about something new. Again, something completely new to this channel. You know, we've covered. A lot of other sports in the past, we cover lacrosse, we cover football, we cover ba I mean, basketball, we cover professional wrestling here, we, we do cover professional wrestling on this channel that barely anybody watches, yeah, for example, run for the end of football stuff, but those core four things I cover here, we're going to probably add a fifth, hopefully, hopefully, I swear, I swear things go well, but that'll do it. Y'all take care, have a good rest of your weekend and start of your new week, and I'll see you again soon. Peace.